Hello there ladies and gents, so this is a quick update video. In my last video I played a rancid scrotum of a game called Malhone 1, which I assumed in the video was an asset flip. Now if I'd have done a bit more research, I would have found out that yes, yes it was a straight 100% asset flip. Thankfully some nice people on Steam did the research for me. So I just thought I'd provide a little update on it because it got worse. It got worse as more info came out because it turns out that Trinits, which was a game I originally thought the developers had made previously before Malhone 1. No, it turns out that is Malhone 1. It was just called something else last week, I think. If you were to go to Google now and search for Trinits, you would, as the number one result, you would get the store page for Malhone 1. I didn't know you could do that on Steam, I didn't know you could change the name of your game, but even worse, they haven't just changed the name, they've changed the asset, because that was also an asset flip, Trinits, but it was a different asset, it was Unit Z asset, which is a asset in Unity that I think a lot of people have asset flipped, honestly. Now, Malhone 1, was a different asset, they just completely changed it, which is why it doesn't make sense to call it a zombie survival anymore, maybe that tag's going to be removed, as the game should be, because there weren't any zombies in that, but there were obviously in Unit Z, so the asset for Malhone 1 is MFPS 2.0 Multiplayer FPS, which is also a Unity asset. Now I'm going to be showing both store pages for the assets on the screen as well as sort of video comparison so you can see just how blatant of an asset flip these are. I, I almost think asset flip is too soft for them because they've ripped them off completely. I think asset rip works better because here's the thing, I don't have a problem with assets in general and I don't think many people do because they're a tool that, that helps developers, you know, they can help save time. Developing things, maybe you don't want to develop. If you're a one-man team, maybe you need some stuff to go in the background, or you need a little help with certain textures, or whatever. Whatever. If you're using them to help you, as a tool to help you, they are a good little thing. They are an asset. That's what they're there for. It's when the asset's used in its entirety with next to no developer input, just a change of name, say, which is the case here. It's not just the case here once, it's the case here twice, amazingly. So that's where I have the problem, that's where I draw the line, that's where the sort of legality almost of it is like, well, you're just ripping off someone's work here. So if I have to explain that, if you're one of the defenders of this kind of thing, I mean, I don't have time to explain sort of morality to you, but how about just basic human decency? You shouldn't rip off someone's product wholesale, which is what these people are doing. They're just taking an asset, changing the name, and that's it, and putting it out as their own work. And it's disgusting, and it shouldn't be on Steam. And you might be saying, oh, well, YouTubers, you're just putting videos up that you didn't make and music. No, I'm also droning over the videos, adding context. That's my input, like the developer's input. If it was just the videos or music with no context, then yeah, it would be pointless. It would just be me ripping it off. A better example would be, say, if I took, I don't know, a Jimquisition video, say he deals with this shit all the time, and just change the name, I don't know, the, the Impquisition, the Gimpquisition, whatever you want. That would be a more apt example, but that's not what I'm doing. Anyway, I've talked enough about this bollocks. I'm hoping it won't be on Steam for much longer, but you know, Valve, they don't seem to care. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I won't be talking about Malhone 1, unless they flip it again to something else. Who knows what it'll be next? It'll be an Unreal game next. Right, anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.